the perfect. We do a dry caramel, which means that uh, we're putting the sugar directly into the pan and burning it. So that's what we start to look for. And it'll just start to melt and color at the same time. And then once all the sugar is dissolved and melted, then we'll just keep adding more sugar to it. Now I have all my sugar in there and I'm just gonna wait until it gets to a nice smoky, smoky dark. We're looking for it to have like a frothy top and kind of start to boil around the edges. When you add anything to this stuff, it's gonna bubble up. And the sugar's so hot, close to like 400 degrees. And there goes the salt. That's what I love about, you know, caramel in general, uh, let alone the caramel ice cream, is that it's that perfect balance of bitter to sweet to salty. You know, you get all of those elements um, when you're eating a good caramel. We take the ice cream base, we um, add whatever flavors we're going to add to it, we put it in the ice cream machine, and then um, it spins the ice cream, it freezes it, and also incorporates the air at the same time. This is, this is caramel and the base. We still got like four more minutes before it'll be thick. Our base ice cream is actually from Strauss family. They send us their organic ice cream mix, which is uh, organic cream, organic milk, sugar, and eggs. We probably go through 150 pints of salted caramel a week that are hand packed like this. The salted caramel is definitely the most popular. We thought it would be popular. I don't think that we anticipated it would be as popular as it is. Lots of times people walk in and who haven't tasted the salted caramel and they seem a little suspicious uh, and they taste it and they're really excited about what they're tasting.